is CDX. Hey y'all, I'm Allie Kelly. I'm at CMA Fest 2019 with Ava Rowland. Hello, how are you? I'm great. Thank you it's for having me. Good to have you here. It's nice to see you. You look so pretty. Thank you. How's your day been? Busy. I, I had a performance <laughs> down at the Spotlight stage at 1130, <laughs> which the, the fans were awesome. Oh, good. It was a really good turnout. So I'm very good. I'm, I'm well, happy. we came by and got a little footage of you performing. We watched. Awesome. So we were a couple of your fans out there going, woohoo. So awesome. It was very Thank good. You. Thank Tell you. me, and we got to hear um, your current single for Radio Polaroid Picture. Yes. Right. And so we walked up just in time to hear that. So yes. tell us where that song came from. Um, really, that song has like no like, oh, the song came to me. It was really because my producer, Britton Cameron, said that we need one more fast, upbeat song for the record. And I was like, oh, crap, I don't know what to write about. So I was sitting in my room, and I had like a little Polaroid camera that I got for Christmas. And I was like, just kind of jo jokingly, I thought, I'm going to write about a Polaroid. And then it turned out to be one of the most catchy songs on the record. Yeah, there it was. <laughs> so, yeah, there's there's no ma magical, you know, this song came from this. It was really just like, crap, I, I need a, <laughs> another upbeat song. Right. And actually, that was my... Um, debut single and my current single is Exit Sign. Okay, well tell us about Exit Sign. Exit Sign is the most personal one on the record. It came about two years ago I was in a really bad relationship and then I just knew it wasn't right but I couldn't find my way out of it um, and then one day I woke up and then I thought I don't need him anymore so you could say I saw the exit sign and uh, then I walked out. I like so that. yeah, it's it's definitely a woman empowerment song, but it's 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 really personal to me. So um, Ava, tell us about your single "My Last Words." My last words came when the Parkland shooting happened, and my dad was watching the vigil with that the is that is, is that how you say it mm -hmm. the vigil mm -hmm. um, that the families were talking, and one of the victims, her name was Jamie, and. He saw this, so he told me to look it up, and then I looked it up, and then I started to write. Because he said, I think this, you know, it just stuck with me, what he said. And what Jamie's dad said was, he can remember the business of the morning and what she was wearing and how she said goodbye, but he can't remember if he told her that he loved her. Yeah. So that was really, like, you know, because it makes you think, because you never know when it's the last time you're going to see somebody. Right. So it's just, it was an empowering statement. So every time... I sing it, I encourage the audience to always tell everyone, you know, that they love, that they love them. Yeah. Because, it, you know, it could be the last time. Well, that's right. Well, what a positive message. That's really good. To tell people you love them. That's right. <laughs> that's right. So you've also got, when you're not working on your music, you've got something called Rachel's Challenge. Yes. Tell us about that. Um, well, I don't... I don't di directly work with Rachel's Challenge yet. Mm -hmm. Hopefully in the future I will. But as of right now, I, with my merchandise, have, well, some of the proceeds go to Rachel's Challenge. That's great. And I, I kind of have this, um, like, heart for it because my senior year I raised over $5,000 to bring it in my high school. Mm -hmm. And for those of you who don't know what Rachel's Challenge is, um, it came from the Columbine shooting and one of the, of the victims, her name was Rachel Joy Scott. And she was all about compassion and being kind to others. And she, about a month before she died, she wrote an essay called My Ethics, My Codes of Life. And her parents took what she said in the essay and built a program from it and she challenges the reader in the essay to go out of their way to show compassion because they might start a chain reaction oh, yeah. so um, and the program has stopped a few school shootings from happening wow. so it's it's a really powerful program so it just has like a special place in my heart so I like to raise money for it and then um, in a few months we're gonna send the money to the program so we can go to other schools. And that's fantastic. What a great cause. So when you're in Nashville you've played at Puckett's, yes. right? And at the Bluebird? Yes. What was that like? That was crazy. <laughs> it was actually a lot smaller than I thought. Mm -hmm. It's um, little. Because I always watch things about Ta Taylor Swift on there so that that was cool to be in there. But the funny thing is I was um, on stage plug, plugging my guitar in and getting everything ready and I dropped the guitar like, on stage yes, yes. and everyone was like oh no so it was it was it was crazy but it, I'm I'm blessed to have played there so that's really good we love the bluebird oh yeah well, I'm so glad that you stopped by to see us and do you live in Nashville now no I still live in Cleveland Ohio but I'm back and forth a lot mm -hmm. so 
I really just live wherever I'm performing right. at the moment. So when you're in Nashville, do you have a favorite restaurant? Uh, yes, Corky's. Barbecue? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I love barbecue. <laughs> we do too. And God, there's so many choices. I mean, you get oh, just yeah. everywhere you go, there's so many different And I love, you what's it try. called? Smoked sausage. That's yeah. my favorite. <laughs> That's my favorite. <laughs> Ava, tell us where we can find you on social media. You can find me on um, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter under Ava Roland Music. And you can also find me on my YouTube channel under Ava Roland Music. And I'm on Spotify, iTunes, Apple Music, all that fun stuff. So just check me out. That's right. Look her up.